you might have covered it a little bit with what you said about um, Scientology, but there's a lot of dark content in a lot of your songs through your other albums as well. Um, where else does that come from? And it's, it's, it's my fascination of the human mind, the psychology, the, the, the dark side. I think every one of us has, to some degree, a dark side that we maybe not talk so much about, so much about or show to everyone. But um, I think that's something that we all have and we, we shouldn't like ignore it and say that it isn't there. Instead, we should kind of embrace and, you know, admit that it is there, but uh, maybe keep it on a certain level, you know. Because yeah. we're all humans, and, uh, I mean, the human race is not a really nice one. You no. see what's going on in the world. <laughs> so, uh, that's it. those subjects fascinate me, and uh, I, I, I don't want... I don't want to write about, you know, dragons or swords or shit or knights in shining armor and killing dragons. That's, to me, it's like... That's for children. It's not interesting at all. I want to sing about real stuff. Mm. So, um, yeah, that's why uh, all these subjects <laughs> come up all the time. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, how do you choose the set list for your shows? Um, I noticed after seeing your shows several times that you have some favourites like Moonlight and Skull Crusher. Yeah, I mean, Skull Crusher is a good live song. It's yeah. meant to be, it's more live song than an album yeah, song. It's fantastic. <laughs> It's like, uh, and also Voodoo is a perfect, you know, live song. Yeah. Hail Caesar is always, you know, sing along the audience. It's, some songs are just good live songs. Yeah. But it's getting hard to choose them. We have six albums. We didn't play so much uh, of, the, of the early stuff mm. on this tour. Uh, we want to, but it's, some songs got to go because we have li yeah. limited time. Yeah. We have 45 minutes and choose the best and, well, so... And also we want to play a couple of, we have three songs for the new, from the new album, so. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> can you tell me the reason that you chose the cover artist, Thomas Holm, and will you continue to have his work on your album covers? Yeah, it's, I mean, it was our original drummer who contacted him a long time ago, and I guess it would be because he, his, his work with King Diamond and Merciful Fate, and... I mean, Don't Break the Oath is one of the best album covers ever, I yeah. think. Uh, one of the best albums ever, also. So, And we wanted to have an artist that was kind of our Derek Riggs. You know, Derek Riggs did all the Iron Maiden stuff. Mm. Something that continues. Yeah. And uh, Thomas Holm, for us, the first guy we use, he, he, we, the labels wouldn't let us use him again because it was kind of really... People thought it weird. You know? <laughs> Some people, especially... You know, in Germany, metal should be like, uh, you, you can't, you know, deviate from the norm. Mm. But, um, but Thomas Holm was something that we liked and that the metal audience all, also could accept and the label, record label club could accept. So we just feel he, he paints our music. Um, yeah. My favorite album cover is uh, Black Wings. I think that's just amazing. Yeah. And also, uh, the black flame is really good with uh, the green skull and everything. Mm. And we told him we want something evil and metal, but n with no symbols, no pentagrams, no inverted crosses. That's, it isn't our thing. And it, uh, those things, we want something that were timeless. Yeah. So he said, like, well, there's only blood and fire left then. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's. Uh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, it's 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 an honor for us to have him, you know, paint our stuff. Yeah, brilliant. Um, you recently played Bloodstock and the Summer Breeze festivals. Um, do you have any festivals lined up for next year at all? Yeah, but I can't talk about it no. because it's not really official yet. Right. But I think we have some. We have one really good festival, and I think there's going to be a lot of more in Germany. And yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, soon. Okay. Um, where's your favourite place to tour and play and why? It's actually in the UK. Is it? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's because we always wanted to go to the UK. When we started the band, we were influenced by all the UK bands. Mm. Well, maybe except, and, and, uh, but not so much the German, you know, type of metal. It was yeah. like the UK, and not the American. It was a UK, Iron Maiden, Judas Priest. Yeah. 
uh, that sort of stuff. So we wanted to go to the UK. I mean, we, we uh, everything that was British we thought was cool. You know, we had you know tea and rehearsal <laughs> and everything that because it was it was a thing we we did yes. to make it fun. You know, cool. tea is great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and. Uh, but we never got here. It was a long time. It took a long time. But now we're, you know, now UK is our best market, and this is where we, this is our priority number one. The UK yeah. now, yeah. now, and uh, I, I just like it. And e even some, you know, outside of venue in UK is usually like it looks like the backyard of some. I don't know. <laughs> It isn't <laughs> that beautiful everywhere. It's just no. bricks and yeah. and garbage and uh, uh, you know. But but I like it. Yeah. It's it's so I like the vibe. I liked it yesterday. Uh, we went to um, Southampton. Mm. I went out in the morning from the tour bus and I, I saw a brick wall and a lot of garbage. And then I turned left and I saw a bus driver who has the, the, the best mullet in, in the world. Really? With a shovel in his hands, shoveling garbage to get park, his parking space. Yeah, it was weird. He was like, hello! Yeah, I was like, yeah, I like this. And garbage cans all over. It's like, you know, the first Iron Maiden cover, you know. Uh, it's uh, or the killers cover. Yeah. It just it feels right to this kind of music. Yeah. <laughs> but did you see any nice countryside as you drove up the country? <laughs> I've a couple of times, you know. <laughs> There's some but, beautiful, uh, beautiful places in England. <laughs> yeah, I know it is. But you know, when we, we play in the cities and uh, yeah, you don't see that, do you? No, I like Bur Birmingham is a g good city to yeah. play in. It's like. Um, only factories and, and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very industrial. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, your last tour date with Firewind is in Paris on the 26th of September. What are the next plans for Wolf? Uh, to tour, to tour and do as many live shows as we can. We we haven't, you know, even thought about making a new album yet. We we think with this with a new lineup and everything, we just want to get out and play. That's okay. what we want to do. Uh, and uh, I mean, it's just great news for the yeah, fans. Yeah. <laughs> great. Uh, do you have a message for the fans? Well, I come to the shows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and shout and scream and headbang and do what you do. Exactly. Right. Now then, I have a question from Mr. Rod Boston. All right. Um, when are you going to record an album about your tractor, and what do you think to the name Bales of Black? Bales of black. I think you had to explain what what what, hay what it bales. means. You know, hay bales. Okay, okay. Yeah, actually, I bought a bought a you know uh, um, uh, to my tractor. I, I just bought um, I don't know the English word right now, but you know, like uh, a trailer, a trailer for the tractor. So I'm gonna have some hay going on, hay driving going on there. Now, I, people say that I should write a song about the tractor, and when yeah. I bought it, it's like, mm, maybe this would be a good <laughs> instrumental song or something. I don't know. Definitely. Tractor yeah. is, uh, when you sit in a tractor and you, you drive it, and it's a tractor from, you know, the Stone Age, it's just a big, big machine yeah. of iron, and it's, <laughs> it's noisy, and it's so powerful, and it's so big. You just, when you drive it, it's like, Oh, it's heaven! <laughs> and I actually got a. I, I helped the neighbor get it rid of a a big, big branch that have, had had fallen off from a tree, but it was hanging there. Yeah. And he wanted wanted help to get it get rid of it, and I I took my tractor over there and and just did it. And I was oh, that's man <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Okay then. Have you heard of the Wurzels? No. The Wurzels, right? Well, they did um, a song called Combine Harvester back in the 70s. I think you should cover that one. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also have a flesh-eating plant that I love, uh, and uh, I think I'm going to write a song about that too. Yeah. Okay, well, I'd like to say thank you very much, and good luck with the rest of the tour. Thank you. Thank you.